and let's dive into this now. Uh, what does AI calling essentially do? Well, what it does, it lets you create these AI voice agents, right? And then these voice agents can call a certain phone number and have a conversation with them. What I'll do is at the end of this demo, I'm going to show you a couple of examples of how the calling and everything works, right? How the conversation happens. But uh, essentially, the AI will call a phone number and have a conversation with the individual like a real human, right? Not an IVR con uh, conversation where, you, you know, they say like press one for this, press two. No, not those. It's going to have like a natural conversation. I'll show you a history um, of some of the conversation just so you uh, get an idea of what kind of conversation. And then I'm going to show you some demo at the end as, as well of how it, uh, how it all sounds. So, you know, uh, AI will call this person, say this, this thing. The person responds back with this. And then AI gives them a response, answers this. Same thing. So, you know, lots of different way you can use this. You can use this, uh, you know, to sell your products and services. You can use this to uh, cold call your prospects. You could use this to provide customer support. You can use this to upsell your products and services. Or you could just set up this for other businesses and charge them $1,000, $2,000, $2,500 a month because nobody else is offering this, right? Now, let me show you how this works. Once you log into the dashboard, you have these three options. You can see all the agents you have created. You can create a new agents. And of course, you can do integrations. Now, essentially, just to get this working, you will need a Twilo integration. Uh, the reason we need Twilo is because that's where you can buy a phone number. right? We don't sell the phone number. We cannot sell the phone numbers because that's a lot of compliances. But Twilo helps you buy a phone number for your country so you can use it for calling. Now, if you go to agents, you can see all the agents you have created, or you can click on create new agent. So let me just walk you through an agent I've already created, Samantha, right? So I'm going to go here and click on edit. So, or, or let me just show you a little bit of the introduction of the agent. So when you click on this, you can upload a picture of the agent. You can give it a name. You give the agent a little bit of a description, the category. Again, you can pick from a lot of different categories. We have got appointment settling, bill payment, cold calling, product upsells, sales representative, support agent, tons of options. Now, again, this if, if, if one of the options doesn't show up here, you can just click on all. That's perfectly fine. It's not going to uh, affect much. It's just for prompting. You can select the gender. You can select the tone from all these different options we have. Um, you can select the language. Of course, we've got tons and tons of like any language you can think of. We've got those here, right? And then you can select from inbound and outbound. So essentially, what an inbound is, an inbound is an AI calling agent uh, where they will answer a call that is typically initiated by the customer. So what you could do is you can put a pop up on your website, and somebody will go put in their phone number. Oh, you can put a pop up on your website, and you put a phone number there, and somebody calls on that number, and the AI will pick up. The other one is an outbound agent. Now, what an outbound agent does is uh, where the AI calls, right? So you can put a pop-up on your website where you collect somebody's phone number and the AI will start calling them. Or you upload a CSV or an Excel sheet of names and phone number and AI will start calling them. So you fill up all these details and then you end up on this page. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see, I already uploaded a picture for her, gave it her name, this is the ID. Um, I can link a phone number. As you can see, I've linked a phone number. The drop down appears here. You can do that. Again, the, all the settings that you gave, you can customize those again. So this was an outbound, female, conversational style in US English. A uh, little bit of a description of what Samantha does. You can have a greeting message. So what I did was like, hey, uh, name. And uh, this is Samantha from AI Callings inviting you for the launch. So I used Samantha to call all the affiliates and influencers and our partners to go check out the JV page partner space so they can promote um, AI callings to their user base, right? So this is like a welcome message that she does. Now, we have an agent prompt, right? This is where you essentially define uh, all the characteristics and all the details about the uh, agent. Now, you don't necessarily have to write it yourself. If you have given it a description and all these details, all you need to do is click on Ask Copilot, and Copilot will write the 
uh, prompt for you. So you don't really have to do it. But if you want to do it, you can do it. If you want to add certain things to it, customize it more, we've given you the flexibility to do it. Then you select who's going to speak first, whether it's the agent. Now, in case of um, you know, outbound, the agent generally speaks uh, speaks first because they are the one calling. But if you want to change that, you can definitely change that as well. Interaction sensitivity essentially means uh, you know when how sensitive the hearing power is going to be for the agent. So if somebody, uh, if the AI calls, right, and there are a lot of people in the background, you want to keep it low so it just focuses on the voice. But if you keep it high, then it's going to listen to all the voices, noises coming in and out. And then you can decide if you want to record the audio uh, call or not. Next up is knowledge base. Now, this is where you train the agent. Now, training is super easy. You can upload a file, a PDF or anything. You can type all the data manually, or you could just go there, put in a web URL, and the uh, AI agent will go, Samantha will go and learn everything from that website and get ready for it. Right, so this is how you train the agent. This is how you give the agent information about your product or service or um, your whatever you're trying to sell. Right, you can manually enter it. You can upload a document, um, or you can have a, a website, multiple websites, multiple. You can do a mix of all of things. Now, there are certain limits of how much data you can import because, again, if you're going to import like uh, a thousand-page PDF. Two things gonna happen. You can do that. We allow you to upload a thousand page PDF. But the problem is the way the AI is, the way GPT works and the way Claude works. So we use GPT and Claude in the background. The more data you give them, the longer it will take them to search through that data. When the, when the customer asks you a question, when the customer will ask AI a question, it will take a lot of time for AI to search through that data to come up with the answer. So when it takes a lot of time, the AI will stop talking and it will just be an awkward pause. That, that's all that's gonna happen. So the trick here is to keep um, your data concise, right? Don't have too much information, have enough information that you know your customers are gonna ask on their phone. And then the less you have, the more it is, right? So it's gonna be faster communication, more, more natural, that sort of stuff. Then we have something on workflow automation. Now, workflow automation essentially means what happens, what action you want uh, AI to take. So, um, on the call, you can have AI transfer the call to your phone number. You can have AI send an SMS. So, when the call ends, or if the if, if the customer on the call says like, "Hey, Samantha, can you send me all these details in an SMS?" Samantha will send this as an SMS. If the customer says, "Hey, can you email me all of this?" Samantha will email it. Right, you could uh, have them check an available. Samantha, can you check what date is available for my next appointment? She can check that, or the customer can say, "Hey, Samantha, could you book me an appointment for Saturday, seven p.m.?" And Samantha will book that on the calendar. And then you can create a lot of these custom functions, and we're gonna give you um, a lot of these custom functions. So you can make I literally do anything. So if you have ideas, let me know, and I can add those here for you. Right, free of cost, it's not gonna cost you anything. It's super, super easy. We're gonna add a lot more customizations. But again, you can make the AI do all of these while they're conversating um, with the customer. So customer's gonna uh, ask, hey, can you send me an SMS? And Samantha's gonna send the SMS. Hey, can you send me an email? Samantha's gonna send them the email about the conversation or whatever the customer asked them. If they want, they can make an appointment booking, anything and everything you can think of. The Samantha, the AI voice agent, whatever you want to call your voice agent, can do. Then we have something called unanswered question. There are going to be situations where, you know, um, there will be certain questions that Samantha or the voice agent that you see doesn't know. So what you can do is you can go through these conversations and then if you see the answer is not correct, you can go here and rephrase it and then write something else. And then the voice agent will learn it. So the next call it does it will have the right information or it will just explain that information in the way that you want it done. So you have that control as well. Now in the settings you can choose from, I think we have about 200, 250 different voices in uh, different accents. You can pick a lot of accents. We got uh, male, female options. We got a lot of languages you can pick from, right? And you can 
take from a lot of different tones, academy, conversational, professional, humorous, simple. You can preview all of them here. So you can pick, pick well, what I usually do, is I usually go to the last page, the seven, that's where all the premium voices are. So you can pick all that. And yeah, you, you do get access to premium voices, right? So you can do all of that. Or, or what you could do is you can record your own voice either from here or just have a recording and upload that recording and have AI Callings create a copy of your voice. So what it's going to do is it's going to clone your voice. And when your voice is cloned, it's going to show up here. And then you can use your own clone voice. So if you have 11 Labs access, if you have an 11 Lab account, you can connect that and you can use all these 11 Labs premium uh, voices as well. Right, so you can clone your own voice. You can have somebody, uh, a voice agent created with your own name, with your own clone voice, and have you yourself call thousands of phone numbers uh, every single day, as long as you have, of course, the uh, rights to call them. Uh, do not spam using this. This is really, really important. But yeah, you can clone your voice and you can do that. And then we have something called campaign. So now campaign, what campaign essentially means, you upload, uh, let me show you how it looks. So you give it a name, you give it a start date and an end date the time and uh, you can ignore the budget this is just for uh, advanced use case we're going to talk about this in the back uh, back end training that we're going to do but you give it a name uh, a start date end date and the time zone and then you upload a csv with name and phone number and you click on save so starting from this date till this date yeah i will start calling all the numbers that you see in the csv right so if you have like two thousand people you want to call you put that up you select like seven days uh, from uh, 1st of December till 8th of December or for 10th of December to 25th of December for Christmas. You've got 2,000 people. You upload the list and Samantha will start calling them one by one, having a conversation, selling them the pitch, giving them whatever you want them to sell. Right? It's a super, super easy to create a campaign, an outbound campaign and have them do it. And then you can also create a simple widget. Uh, with a picture, you can change the color, customize it, have name, email, phone numbers. You can connect your autoresponder. We support all the autoresponders. You can go into integration. You can literally just copy paste your code and any autoresponder you work with, we support, right? And then Samantha is going to be here. You put in the phone number and Samantha is going to call it. Let me show you how the widget actually looks on, the, on our website. I think we have it on our partners page. I want to show you a demo of it. But essentially, yeah, you can customize this and have their name, email, phone number go into your autoresponder. So you can send them like email as well later. And then the moment they click on this and click on call now, uh, Samantha is going to start calling them immediately. So you, this is how it looks. You put in the name, your phone number, click on call now, and Samantha will call you immediately. All right. So you can create this and you can publish this on your client's website. So you can create these agents and you can create a vision. You can put it on his website, like your client's website, his our website. And you can charge them, you know, like, you know, fifteen hundred, two thousand, thousand five hundred. And again, I would say charge a lot more because you're the first of the very few people who are doing this. And the, and when you demo this to clients, their minds are going to be blown, right? So once you do all of this, your agent is set up. It's super easy. It doesn't take a lot of time. And once your agent is ready, there's really nothing more for you to do. So if you're creating, for example, an outbound agent, of course you can do campaigns and you can do widgets. If you're creating an inbound agent, you can just copy paste this phone number and share it wherever and people will call this number whenever anybody calls this number um, the ai is going to pick up and answer the call for you now give me a yes or why in the chat if you think this was easy to create it was super super easy to create a voice and you see the potential of uh, of ai callings ai voice origins give me a why or yes in the comments Oh my God, that's incredible. That's a awesome. Lots of wise and yes is coming in. Awesome. Now, what, let me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play uh, some of the recordings from the calls that Samantha did and a couple others, like three, four examples. I'll show you how it sounds and then we're going to wrap up the demo and then we're going to jump back into the presentation. All right, let's do this. This is Alex from TechMaster Solutions. How can I assist you today? Hi. My software isn't updating, and it's been stuck for hours. What should I do? I'm sorry to hear that. Let's start by checking your internet connection. Is it stable? Yes, the connection is fine. Great. Next, I suggest restarting the software and trying the update again. 
If the issue persists, I can walk you through clearing the cache or reinstalling the software. Shall we proceed with the restart first? Okay, I'll try that now. Perfect. I'll stay on the line while you restart, and we can continue from there. Hi, this is Riley from CleanSpace. Are you calling to schedule a cleaning service? Yes, I need a deep clean for my home this weekend. We can certainly arrange that. Would Saturday at 10 a.m. work for you? Yes, that's perfect. What does the deep clean service include? Our deep clean covers every corner of your home, including kitchens, bathrooms, and even hard-to-reach areas. We'll also sanitize all high-touch surfaces. Shall I book you in for Saturday at 10 a.m.? Yes, please. That sounds great. Consider it done. We'll be there promptly at 10 a.m. on Saturday. You'll have a spotless home without lifting a finger. Hi, I'm Chris from Fitgear. I noticed you're interested in our new treadmill. Would you like to know more about its features? Yes, I'm curious about how it tracks my workouts. Our treadmill comes with a built-in fitness tracker that monitors your heart rate, distance, and calories burned. It also offers customizable workout programs to match your fitness goals. How often do you plan to use it? I'd like to use it daily for cardio. Perfect. This model is designed for daily use and comes with a lifetime warranty on the motor. If you order today, we're offering free delivery and setup. How does that sound? That sounds good. Let's go ahead with the order. Excellent choice. I'll process your order right away. You'll be on your way to reaching your fitness goals in no time. Hey, Neil. This is Samantha from AI Callings inviting you for the launch. You can ask me anything about the app or launch. I might take a second or two to respond. When do you go live? The launch date for AI Callings is set for August 27, 2024, at 11 a.m. EST. It's going to be an exciting event with lots of prizes and contests throughout the launch period. Are you planning to join us for the launch? Maybe. What's the top prize? The top prize for the AI Callings launch includes $6,000 in the first 24 hours and $10,000 in launch prizes, with various daily and speed contests throughout the launch period. Additionally, if you commit to a three-day promo, you are guaranteed to walk away with a five-figure promo and more in prize money.